presidential campaign that nobody outside the cable news community is actually asking for has taken a step closer to reality tonight. The Creepy Porn Lawyers 2020 campaign has produced its first political ad. It will air soon on Facebook and Twitter. We're going to show it to you. We want to preface that with a warning. It's creepy. We the people, we the people, are mad as hell, and we're not going to take it anymore. And we're not going to take it anymore. Enough with the lies. Enough with the cover-ups. Enough with the bigotry. Enough with the misogyny. Join us. Join us. Join us. Our Constitution says we the people, not me the president. Stand up. Join the Fight Club. Use your vote as your voice on November 6th. Every cliche ever added to a political commercial, all in one. Dan Bongino, a former Secret Service agent, NRA TV contributor, also, also the author of the great book Spygate, The Attempted Sabotage of Donald J. Trump. Dan Bongino joins us tonight. Um, so, Dan, it looks like this is what we've been, and I'll just concede, we've made fun of this for a long time, and then all of a sudden there's a political ad, and you've got to think, well, maybe, maybe this is going to happen. Yeah. Um, I, talk right. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, I usually don't crack up on TV like this. I've been doing this a little while now. Um, I'm just wondering how many takes. It I, I, let me just put disclosure. I've actually filmed political ads. I ran for office in the past. I will not yeah. do it again. But I know how this works. And there's usually multiple takes, you know. Say fight back. No, say it with passion. Fight back. Say it with a squint in your eye. Fight back. I'm just wondering how many takes it took Avenatti at the end to be that creepy. Was it the 25th take? Was I no, no, this is really creepy now. Let's put this where, where he says, it's we the people, not me the president. Well, it's it's we the people, not me, the creepy porn lawyer either. But that is the creepiest look ever. That may be the first political ad that actually raises negative money. In other words, people that donate and see the ad and then ask for their money back, that is the worst ad I've well, ever seen. And I don't think Democrats <laughs> like it. So today, apparently, Beto, or is it Beto, or the guy, Robert O'Rourke, who's running in Texas yeah. against Cruz, I can, fake names, I can never remember how to pronounce them, he attacked creepy porn lawyer as not representative of the Democratic Party. Do you think that's fair? Uh, I, I mean, he's challenging, the creepy porn lawyer is challenging Don Jr. to mix martial arts matches. Uh, Tucker, I don't know. Uh, listen, I'm not a fan of Robert Francis O'Rourke. I'm a Ted Cruz supporter. But I listen, he's right on this one. I mean, is this really the guy you want, you know, charging ahead on the battlefield as like the flag bearer of the Democrat Party, challenging Don Jr. to MMA matches, representing uh, people in porn cases against the president, throwing out allegations that have been widely debunked by media people? I mean, this really, this is the future. And the fact that he's even showing up in these states and gathering crowds. Tucker doesn't really speak well to the Democrat Party right now. No. If this is your bench, you better work on that farm system, man, because you guys are in a lot of trouble. <laughs> you know what? I agree. I'm with Bateau O'Rourke on that as well. Dan Bongino, great to see you as always. Thank you. You too, brother. Take care.